Hey guys, welcome to another home lab video here. Um, in this video, we're actually going to do the same thing that we did in our last video, create a Minecraft server, but we had a request to do it in Docker and we're gonna use Docker Compose to actually do it um, in this video. So um, just a few different ways. There's, there's honestly, you know, a million ways you can set up, you know, a server essentially. Um, so if you do have like future requests in regards to like doing something a specific way, um, if I have time, I might just do it for you. So always leave a comment, you never know. So this video is also sponsored by me, myself and I. So if you enjoy this video, like the content um, and you wanna sponsor me or send me some free swag, my email is in the description below. So, all right, let's get started guys. Okay, so we had our mic. We actually created a Minecraft server last in our last video. So we already have the Minecraft server. So we, we'll still use that same Minecraft server, um, but we'll just turn off what we set up and then install Docker, install Docker Compose, and get essentially what we want to set up for this. So let's log into our server here real quick. So we have our screen session with our old. Minecraft server, which actually isn't even, even, oh, it's running as the other user, sorry. This is user-based screen session. <clears throat> yeah, so screen MC. Okay, so let's, let's stop this Minecraft server here. Um, so now that that is stopped, um, what we're going to do is install Docker um, and Docker Compose onto this onto this box. So, give me one second. I need to pull up my documentation here real quick, um, and we'll go back as root, so that we can actually do root commands. Yum config manager, add repo HTTPS download Docker dot com and send to us docker ce repo so that's adding the repo we will install docker ce so we'll let that install so the thing with you know doing doing any service as a, a docker container is there's two ways of doing it finding someone who's already created a docker container that you can use um this also means you trust the source um in this case i did find a um person who, who has done this, which they do look like they actually have a lot of downloads and pulses, pretty probably secure in regards to, you know, the, the user, it looks like, you know, they update pretty recently, um, lots of people, and, and this is from Docker Hub too, so like, it's it, it's not like they're hosting their own, you know, Docker website. Um, they, they also looks like they do do a Bedrock and a Java version. Um, so in this case, I'm gonna use this so that you guys can actually download from them too, as opposed to creating my own. But I could do the same thing, create my own. Um, that would essentially do what I did in my last video, but just Dockerize it instead of put it in a server, right? Um, but this is by your own risk if you decide you want to use this person's Docker. Um, at the end of the day, if you decide you want to use someone else's Docker container, you're kind of at their mercy in case they, you know, you know, put something sketchy in there or whatnot. I mean, I'm not saying that this one specifically has anything that's sketchy, but it's it's something that you have to vet yourself and and essentially say, okay, I trust this person and they only, you know, did a Minecraft server and they're not trying to like, you know, do a Minecraft server plus put a Bitcoin mining, you know, program in there. So I'm Bitcoin mining for them too, right? So that's just something to consider for your own self when you do decide you want to do Docker stuff. You want to always kind of vet the source, make sure Hey, you know, does this person kind of look legit? Do they have other repos? Do they, you know, have like a hundred plus, you know, you know, downloads from other places? So it's always good to always kind of do a little bit of vetting, kind of see like the GitHub, kind of see what what they have. So this this person looks pretty active for stack developer. I mean, from from here, it looks like this guy, you know, just does a lot of coding, um, and you know, does a lot of other projects and seems pretty legit, honestly. Um, but you should always do your own research. Don't just trust someone on YouTube saying, "Hey, this guy looks legit." <laughs> um, but we're gonna we're gonna go use his container so that you guys can use his also. Um, so what we're going to do here is, and they actually even have a little bit of documentation, which makes it really cool. We're gonna actually use their Docker Compose thing, and we will spin up the server from them. So we have Docker installed. Um, now we need to install Docker Compose. So give me one second here, copy this. So we'll just install Docker Compose from the github.com, the Docker Compose, make it executable. Now we need to enable Docker. 
and an uh, slot docker. Now we have Docker started. Um, you can see this by doing a PS, you got the, the services and everything. So next thing we're gonna do is actually create the Docker compose file. So by docker compose.yaml, we will copy and paste what they had. Um, so essentially, you know, how Docker compose works, you create your services. In this case, you know, MC for Minecraft, grab the image, that's the image. Um, Depending on how you want to do it, it looks like they have other options to do um, besides just, you know, that they have different versions. Um, we're just going to use the latest as the tag. So because we don't actually define the, the tag, it will just use latest. But in case you decide you want to do a different tag for a different version, you can. So, but we're just going to stick with latest here. Um, and then we got essentially... Uh, the ports, if you don't want to use the default ports, you can you obviously switch it here. The EULA, which you have to set to true, because if you don't, you gotta restart the service and then set it to true again. Um, and then the volumes to attach down here. Um, so, actually, I'm kind of surprised. Oh, I didn't copy the very last line. <laughs> so let's let's get this line in here. And then paste. I think that was it. Yeah, right there. And then just you know anything that is on the the container is also on um, our local, so that you know if you ever had to restart the container, you don't lose your world type situation, right? So we'll make dot data. Wait, wait, sorry. I have to actually reread that now. Um, Oh, okay, so make directory data here, just in the root directory. And then docker compose up and then detach. So now I'll pull, pull the container, we'll download everything in here, and then start up the container. So give it a few seconds here. Pulling, extracting. Yeah, but like, honestly, the fun thing about like being able to do like Docker stuff like this, essentially everything that we did with like TrueNAS, well, I guess it, TrueNAS was a di completely different install. Sorry. Uh, everything that we did like with like, GitLab, I could con containerize a GitLab server. Uh, I don't know how great that would be, but you could do that. So like, you can kind of think, oh yeah, there's a lot of things that you can actually start containerizing the, once you understand how to build it. You just have to kind of figure out how to like variableize a few things and parameterize a few things. So now that we have that started, we can actually do docker compose logs and f for follow. So you can see how you still got the same logs here as how we have it on, on a, our other server. It's running 120 as we are also running because that's currently the latest and it will spawn the world. So now you see that it has officially spawned so what we're going to do is switch to our Minecraft um, window and go to multiplayer, direct connect. And again, the IP, the, uh, this is our private IP um, and we will join the server. So now we should be hooked up and it will be connecting to our Docker Minecraft. Easy. And there you go. That is how you install Minecraft on Docker. So if you like the video, enjoy the content, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks guys.